you know, every year I like to do something a little untraditional. And I thought it'd be really fun to do a nice spice rub, actually, on the turkey. So I'm going to start with two cloves of garlic. And my whole family pretty much only eats white meat turkey. So I figured, what was the point of cooking a whole turkey when nobody really eats the dark meat? So I figured, you know what, I'm only going to do a turkey breast this year. Make it easy on myself, get to hang out, play a little bocce on the beach, and hang out with my family a little bit more by just making a turkey breast. So we're going to start with two cloves of garlic, and let's grab some spices. So I'm going to do some oregano, some chili powder, cumin, and allspice. We'll do all four of those. And I want to get the measurements just right. So we're going to start with two teaspoons of cumin. And it's nice and warm and spicy. It'll be really good on the turkey. And we'll do one teaspoon of allspice and one tablespoon of oregano right in there. The oregano is really nice. It's still in that warm family. It's hearty, so it works really well with the other spices. And two teaspoons of chili powder because we're going to give it a nice warm kick. Already they smell really good, nice and warm. What you want the holidays to smell like. We need a little mustard, we need brown sugar, and we need some chicken stock, which I'll use in a minute. So we'll start with the brown sugar. And I need a tablespoon, a little sweetness, that little bit of molasses flavor too, which I really like, and a quarter of a cup of mustard. And I like to use the ground mustard because I like the seeds in it. It gets a nice texture on top of the bird. And mix this all together. Here we go. Now we need a little bit of moisture, so we're going to add a teaspoon of olive oil. And that should just about do it. Mix it all together. It smells really good. The wine in the grain mustard oh, gives it so much flavor. All right, so now let's grab the turkey. So the deal with the turkey, I basically bought a four and a half, five pound turkey breast. And what I want to do is just put the rub right on it and use my hands and just kind of massage it out and create a nice crust. And then it kind of just mixes in and I just put a little bit under the skin in the back too, just so it kind of gets right onto the white meat. All right, so there we're done. I'm gonna grab some cipollini onions and some carrots which I think will look really nice with the turkey. We're also going to grab some parsnips and some butternut squash, which I'll keep to use in a minute for my, um, my sweet and savory bread pudding. Right now, I just need the carrots. Get rid of those. The cipollini onions, I basically just peel them like you would any onion. And, you know, if you don't want to do cipollini onions or you can't find the cipollini onions, it's no biggie. You can just use pearl onions if you want to or a regular onion, just cut it up. We'll save that and use that in a bit. And I take my carrots and I just cut them in chunks, just like this. I just toss them right in there. Adds a nice color, too, flavor and color. All right, so we got all that. Now we need a little bit of chicken broth, about two cups of chicken broth to keep the turkey nice and moist through the cooking process. So we're going to cook it at 350 degrees for 45 minutes, just like this, to get a nice crust going on the top of the turkey. Then I'm going to cover it with a little bit of tin foil and cook it again for another 45 minutes. So there we go. Let's pop this in the oven. Bye bye, turkey. succulent and tender with a spicy crust that's loaded with texture and flavor.